Our build tiny story started when Gina got the idea in her head to build her own tiny house. And I won't delete it this one. Do I push that? Do I push that red one? She bought a trailer on a whim and spent months contemplating the design. She had interior architecture background, but not much building experience, so it's fair to say she was being a tad ambitious. Lucky for her, she had a charming older sister who married a talented builder, Jason. And to get some practical experience, Gina began working alongside Jason on a residential building project. For every two hours Gina worked, she earned an hour of Jason's time to help her with her tiny house. Jason was a great teacher and she got familiar with the tools of the trade. Gina quickly gained an appreciation of just how complex building can be and realised her plans to build her own tiny house unaided were very unlikely. Six months later, with the house all done, the duo began to work on what would become the Millennial Tiny House. Gina kept a hilarious and informative record of the Millennial build process on YouTube. Many family members were roped in to help at various stages, and the family obsession for tiny homes developed. Go, Barker Man! The first one to poo in her house. <laughs> Throughout the build, Gina and Jason challenged their happy in-law relationship and surprisingly considered the idea of turning this into a business. With an overwhelmingly popular response to the vlogs and a great deal of outside interest, it was clear that there was a market for tiny homes in New Zealand. A few meetings around the dinner table later, Build Tiny was born. With Gina's background in interior architecture, Jason is a qualified builder, Ian and Diane as seasoned business owners, and myself with management skills, we made an epic team. Wanting to give the business a kickstart, we approached the Auckland Home Show on the off chance they had a site available. Unfortunately, it was too late. The prestigious event was booked out with a long waiting list. However, a month later, we got a call. They had had a cancellation and everyone else on their wait list was just too big for the site. We were the perfect size. Jackpot. We were just tiny enough. We snapped up the chance and took on our first employee, Steve, a longtime friend of the family and qualified builder. With his help, we got the Millennial finished and up to Auckland. <laughs> Yay! It was all hands on deck, and again the whole family got roped in, managing the crowds and handing out brochures. What are you doing, Phil? <laughs> Everyone loved the Millennial. It attracted radio interviews, newspaper and magazine articles, even an interview on the AM show. People loved all the clever space-saving features. Some had never been seen in a tiny house before. With massive 12-hour days and having 10,000 people through the door, over the five days it was exhausting. <laughs> How you feeling? I'm starved, mate. <laughs> hey, say Kit Kat Chunky. Kit 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 <laughs> <laughs> Oh, really? Oh, yes. <laughs> that was a year ago now, and things have changed a lot. The exposure from the home show has meant Gina is swamped designing the most amazing and creative designs, one of which is here at the conference today for you to tour. It's called Tinyville, and it's en route to its new owners in Waikawa Beach, where it will be available to rent by the night. The owners are here today, so if you see Rodney and Shirley, please thank them for opening their brand new tiny house to us all today. Back in the workshop, the boys are smashing out amazing quality builds. I think they're up to build number 10 by now, and many more in the pipeline. I'm helping where I can in the office, working around our three kids. We've had to move again to a larger space and taken on the talented Mike, who has become a valuable part of the team. We're looking forward to the future and sticking to our strengths. We're focusing on design and innovation with some really cool projects in the workshop. On that note, I'll pass you back to Gina, who has got some great tips to share on tiny house design to help the DIYers out there.